Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. Today we are going to be setting up Drupal in a Docker container. Now this is really useful if you want to do some local development. It's probably the simplest way of doing it, uh, but it requires a few prerequisites and that's what we're going to do today. So this is my Docker setup. These are the containers that I've got currently running. Uh, sorry, the, the ones in green are currently running. Now, as we're going to recreate these, I'm going to actually turn those off. And because we're going to use the same ports. So we're going to create, similar to this, we're going to create a MySQL database instance, a PHP MyAdmin instance. That's just useful for viewing your, your database. You don't have to have that one. Um, and then the Drupal, which is the web instance. Okay, let's do that. So firstly, we need to uh, download some prerequisite software. The first one being Docker. I'll put the links to all of these in the description down below, so you can just click on them, uh, but they'll be on screen as well. So I'm running Windows, uh, so we need Docker desktop for Windows. As I say, the URL will be down below. The second thing you need is the Windows subsystem for Linux, or WSL for short. So the instructions for installing WSL are on this web page. Um, I use VS Code, which has PowerShell integrated. So I just run this command and that will install it for me. It might be slightly different depending on what you're using for your IDE, but I would recommend VS Code. It's a good idea to install VS Code as well. And that is available here. So there is distributions for Mac and Linux as well and Windows. Okay, so that's the first three. The other thing you will need is git command line. Git command line is available here. Again, the link will be down below and download the latest for Windows there. Okay, that's the four bits of software that you need to run Docker for Windows, uh, for Drupal. So the next thing we need to do is to download the images. An image is the specification for a Docker container. You can have multiple containers using the same image. So the latest version will be the latest image. So the ones that we need, once we've installed these prerequisites and they need to be installed first, we can go to VS Code. So once we've got VS Code open, uh, go to your sort of web root. Uh, it doesn't actually matter where you download this or where you pull this to. This will install it, the images into Docker. So the command for that, or for the first one, is docker pull Drupal. Now that will go and get the latest Drupal image. Okay, we now have the latest version of the Drupal image or Drupal Docker image. Now we need to do the same for MySQL. So we do docker pull MySQL. And again, that will go and get the latest version of that Docker image. Okay, that's the latest MySQL image. And finally, we need to download the PHP MyAdmin image. And mine is already up to date, so I don't need to do anything further on that. Okay, so that's all of the software required downloaded and the three images that we require downloaded. In the next video, I'll show you how to set those up and connect them all together, and we should have a working website. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.